CCP is really recent. For those who don't know, what can we say about what is MCP? Why is it so relevant and people are so, so many people are talking about it specifically? So I think the best way to uh, understand what it is, is maybe to show, um, to show it, to show what life is like without it. So I'm sure a lot of the viewers have used some kind of AI tool like maybe ChatGPT or Claude or Cursor uh, to help with some kind of task. It's where a lot of people are turning today. And so let's say that I'm a new business owner and I need to figure out how to generate a PayPal invoice. So I'm going to ask Claude, hey, can you help me generate a $2 invoice for socks? And so Claude is really smart. It has a lot of information and knowledge built into its uh, large language model. Okay, well, it's going to try to code because it always tries to go above and beyond. It just helped me figure out how to do it. But essentially what it's going to do is it's going to give me instructions on how I can do this. It's going to give me step-by-step. -step. You can do this, you can do that. Here's the information that you need. How can I help you format this information? But it's still up to me as the user to go and complete each one of these tasks, to go interact with the PayPal service and do what I need to do. Now, imagine I could have my AI agent like Claude integrated with my PayPal account. So let's say I add an integration here and to really integrate to my PayPal account, I need to connect it to my login uh, I log in, it then brings me back to Claude, and imagine it now knows about, about my PayPal account. And so now, if I ask it for help with generating an invoice, invoice for $2 socks for, I've just done this exercise enough that I know what it needs, but imagine I ask it for help with this. And now, instead of giving me instructions, what it can actually do is, um, because it's integrated with PayPal, it can actually go and generate that invoice for me once it gets all the information that I need. And essentially get me to the end result as quickly as possible. So think of it as without MCP, AI agents are really good at telling you how to complete tasks but it's still up to you as the user to complete them. With MCP, you get to integrate the large language model LLM with your favorite services so that it can actually do things for you. And so actually, that, sorry, Oh, Go I was just it, gonna Mary. say it generated the invoice and here it is. Um, which is pretty amazing. I did not really have to go and figure anything out or even go to the PayPal dashboard or interface to be able to do this. And so MCP servers, basically, if you saw on Dina's screen, there was a little box that popped up that says, you know, do you want to use this tool? So MCP servers basically expose a set of tools to the LLM and based on what the user prompts, the LLM can pick which tools it thinks is applicable to whatever the user is needing. After you set it up like you did, it's already connected, it's already authenticated, right? Yes. So you don't need to do it every time. What you did is like, an integration from the get-go. After that, you have the process already in place, so it could be automatic. You could do it for you every time. Correct. And you don't always have to use one that requires authentication. There's some open MCP servers, for example, for searching through documentation uh, where you don't need to log in. Uh, but the nice thing about being able to log in is that any interactions with an MCP server, you will be able to see them within your dashboard or the interface that you use for that service. And it's going to stay consistent and have information about your account. And what's also nice about it is that you can use Claude, for example, from your laptop or from your phone. And because it is all done over the internet you can just log in from any of the devices and maintain that integration